and welcome to this week's art lesson. Now today we're going to be learning about an artist called Thomas Chapaljari. And Chapaljari was part of the Chapaljari brothers who were Australian Aboriginal artists. A bit like Queenie Mackenzie who we learnt about last year. And they would often depict ancestral myths or stories or histories and they would have often been painted on the body. And so we're going to be focusing on building up shapes and patterns on our piece of paper today. And for this activity we will need a uh, pot of water, a paintbrush, and our uh, watercolour paints. And we're going to begin by doing a kind of test sheet to practice before we go on to our final artwork. For this activity, we're going to need to paint nice thin lines. Have a quick practice on another piece of paper to see how thin you can paint your lines. How much water do you need? And how much paint? It helps to also have a tissue if your paint gets too wet. Let's begin by building up shapes using the colour black. Remember every shape will connect to the one before. Build up big or small shapes and work your way all around the edges too. Finally, go over any lines that are too light. Now let's build up shapes within our shapes. Pick a group of shapes to have one colour and the others to have another. In the spaces between, paint these colours in dots. Okay, well I've stopped mine there, and I don't know about you, but I found that very therapeutic and I feel very relaxed now. And when I was doing it, I was thinking it was quite interesting because we've gone from working a sort of 3D shape with Victor Vasali to working in a very sort of 2D perspective. And I look at this and I think, is it a sort of close-up of a tree with all the bark sort of naturally coming together in the way that those shapes do? Or could it even be a bird's eye view looking down with trees and roads and things like that? But it's really up to you what you think. And if you enjoyed that and you want some more ideas, here are three more of Thomas Chaffaldari's artworks. And have a lovely week and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.